Welcome to your guide for Anchor Solix F3000 Portable Power Station. Before using F3000 for the first time, charge it. Plug into a wall outlet, 120 or 240 volt generator, or solar panels. Inside your F3000 package, you'll find the product and some accessories. Take a moment to review. Here's how to recharge F3000 with a wall outlet. Before continuing, make sure you have F3000 and the AC charging cable on hand. First, connect one end of the AC charging cable to F3000. Then, plug in the AC charging cable to an outlet. It's pretty easy. Let's see how to recharge F3000 with solar panels. First, we'll review how to use the high voltage solar input. Note this important information. The voltage range for this port is from 11 to 165 volts with 17 amps max. You also need to make sure that the total open circuit voltage for the solar panels does not exceed 165 volts. Here's what you'll need to connect to your high voltage solar panels. First, connect any extension cables to the high voltage solar charging cables PV connectors. Next, connect the other ends of the extension cables to the PV connectors behind the solar panels. Connect the solar panels in series or combine parallel and series connections. Finally, connect the solar charging cable to F3000's high voltage PV input port. Now, let's see how to connect solar panels to the low voltage PV input. Before we begin, let's review these important notes. The voltage range for this port is 11 to 60 volts with 17 amps max. Make sure that the solar panel's total open circuit voltage does not exceed 60 volts. Please take a moment to review what you'll need to connect to the low voltage solar input. First, connect the parallel connectors to the PV connectors on the PV connector to XT60 by solar charging cable. Then, connect the other ends of the parallel connector to the PV connectors on the back of the solar panels. Finally, connect the PV connector to XT60 by solar charging cable to the low PV input port on F3000. Let's find out how to recharge F3000 with a generator. Here's what you need before you start connecting. First, connect one end of the TT30 charging cable to F3000's AC input output port. Then, connect the other end of the TT30 charging cable to a generator. Turn on the generator and follow instructions in the Anchor app to finish setup. If you need to disconnect the generator from F3000, turn off the generator's AC breaker. Then, disconnect the TT30 charging cable from F3000 and the generator. Here's how to recharge F3000 with an EV charger. Here's what you'll need. Please take a moment to review. First, connect one end of the EV adapter to F3000's AC input output port. Then, connect the other end of the EV adapter to the EV charger. Finally, turn on the EV charger and follow instructions in the Anchor app to finish setup. Now that we've gone over recharging, let's find out how to power appliances. Press the main power button for three seconds to activate F3000, then plug appliances in. When finished, turn off F3000 by pressing the main power button again for three seconds. If you want to add expansion batteries, here's how to connect them. Please review the products and accessories needed. First, connect one end of the battery cable to F3000's expansion battery port. Then connect the other end of the battery cable to the battery, connecting at the expansion battery port. If you want to connect two F3000 power stations, here's how to connect them with Anchor Solix double voltage hub. You'll need two F3000s and Anchor Solix double voltage hub. First, connect double voltage hub to the AC input output ports of both F3000s. Then press the power button on double voltage hub for two seconds. Finally, let's take a look at how to finish setting up F3000 with the Anchor app. First, download the latest version. Scan this QR code 
to find the Anchor app on the App Store or Google Play. When registering, use your actual location. Otherwise, the self-test and Wi-Fi connection may fail. Log into the Anchor app and tap Add Devices or the plus icon in the upper right. Select Standalone Use, then tap Connect. Select either Bluetooth or Wi-Fi connection. Tap this icon to customize settings on the Settings page. Enable Car Charging Mode to stop car charging automatically, saving energy. This mode shuts off AC output automatically when unused or using less than 20 watts. Set a shutdown timer in sleep mode to protect battery health when idle. Now you have a full introduction into the power behind F3000. We hope you enjoy your portable power station.